I thought I'd begin with a story of a company that really is like the godfather of technology transforming the way we can trust total strangers. So I'm sure many of you have heard the legend behind eBay, how eBay was first started. Now, do you have Pez dispensers in Finland? The things that pop sweets? Okay, so the story goes that Pierre Emilia started eBay to help his girlfriend buy and sell Pez dispensers. This is, in fact, a complete myth that was made up by the marketing department of eBay because they decided that the real story was too geeky. What happened was Pierre decided, as an experiment, to put a broken laser pointer that he had up for auction on his own website, wondering if anyone in the world would bid on a broken laser pointer. And even he was surprised that within 24 hours, he received a bid for $13.83. So we wrote to the guy, and he said, you do realize that this laser pointer is broken. And the gentleman wrote back and said, I am a collector of broken laser pointers. <laughs> this is a dead true story. Now, what he realized in that moment was actually something very profound. He was a visionary in seeing how technology would do two things. The first thing he saw was how technology would create the efficiency to match supply and demand, that you have a need and someone else has a have, and that we can now connect through the internet. But what Pierre also saw was how technology would transform the way we could trust strangers. And it's these two ingredients that you see are the foundation of what we call the collaborative or sharing economy. And basically, it has many different names, but there is a definition. So the way I think of the collaborative economy is, is that it is an economic system that is using technology to unlock the value of assets through networks and marketplaces in ways that hopefully create greater efficiency, empowerment, and access. Now, the interesting thing about the collaborative economy is that you don't have to be running a startup. You don't have to be an entrepreneur to actually think in this way, because it's a really transformative way of thinking differently about value, scale, and trust. So one of the things that I found through meeting lots of entrepreneurs in this space is that they ask a very similar question when they start their businesses. And the question that they ask is, how can we extract new value from an existing asset? How can we extract new value from an existing asset? Let me give you an example of this. Has anyone used blah, blah car? 